What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest flagship from Google. This is the Nexus 5 made by LG. The Nexus devices are probably some of my favorite of the year, so I'm really excited to see what a Snapdragon 800, a gorgeous 1080p screen looks like on unadulterated, unaltered Android. Let's take a first look. So here is the box for the Nexus 5. It's relatively small and it kind of makes a 5 on the screen. So not much branding on it. You got Google, LG on the side, and that is about it. Uh, this is sent to us from uh, the folks at Google. They sent us a 32 gigabyte black model. There's also a 16 gigabyte versions, both available uh, in white or black at 349 or 399. So Google branding. Looks like we got. There's a seal, but Google opened that, perhaps to put a SIM card in here. Uh, this is a unique phone. It'll work with LTE uh, on Sprint, on AT&T uh, or T-Mobile, but also with Sprint. Uh, no support for Verizon folks here, so sorry to say that. Uh, here is the phone, and it's looking very nice uh, and really thin uh, to hold in the hand. Push it off the side for just a quick second, even though I just want to hold it. See what else we are going to have in the box, and of course we'll run through all the specs. Uh, we've got anything in here? We got nothing in there. That's just some filler. Inside of here, we've got SIM removal tools for removing SIMs. Looks like it's just a little piece of metal. Uh, Nexus 5, get started, how to work it, all that kind of business. We like to figure that out on our own. Safety and warranty, don't eat the phone. And uh, we've got a wall wart and a micro USB charging cable. That is about it. Let's bring in the reason we are all here. Here's the latest flagship phone from Google. I love my Nexus devices. I uh, will peel this off. I'll run through all the specs. Boom. Satisfying whooshing noise. This phone feels really nice in the hand. Very substantial. Uh, I'll try and power it on and we could talk about everything uh, while we're doing it. It's a power button lives in the upper right hand corner. See, it's got some juice. Uh, what's going to turn on is a 4.95 inch screen up from the 4.7 on the Nexus 4 with a full 1080 resolution, meaning 1920 by 1080 with a PPI of 445. It's an IPS screen. Uh, big deal here, aside from the hardware, is Android 4.4, also called KitKat, uh, is here at launch, uh, being powered by a 2.3 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 chip, uh, which is crazy fast. You think about how quick, how quick the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, where those are using Snapdragon 600s, uh, this thing should be just an absolute beast. So you got this guy all powered on. It's got two gigs of RAM. Uh, no external storage though, so make sure you get either 16 or 32 is going to support all the storage that you need. The back, it's got a camera there. That is an 8 megapixel uh, sensor uh, with a stabilization, which is kind of nice to have the optical stabilization in case you got a shaky hand. And of course, 1080p video. A uh, 1.3 megapixel shooter living right there on the front. 802.11 ABG and an AC, and that's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Bluetooth 4.0. Powering this guy and keeping it running is not the largest battery, 2300 milliamp hours. Does have NFC here, also supports wireless charging, the Qi standard. Um, it weighs 130 grams. Let's take a quick look here at the phone. So immediately you'll notice some things that are different. You got that translucent menu bar there at the bottom. You don't have that sort of that line across it. Hangouts is now integrated with SMS. If you don't like that, you can download a third party SMS app, like I will be doing and setting that as your default. Uh, further integration with contacts, I don't have any in here. Uh, you can now search for places and stuff inside of contacts, so pizza place or restaurant. Uh, so that's kind of a nice touch there as well. A uh, quick tour of the device. We got volume rocker up and down on the left hand side. On the right, there's your SIM tray and your power and lock button. On the bottom, we've got stereo speakers, which are rear facing, obviously. There's your charge and sync port. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack and mic. Uh, the 2300 milliamp hour battery here is non-removable. Uh, the back is sort of a soft touch feel, but it feels really, really nice. It doesn't look to be much of a fingerprint magnet either, like some other uh, soft touch backs. And I have just a normal person, hands not relatively dirty. I guess we're clean, uh, but just normal. Nothing is uh, smearing them on here. Uh, you can now, like you could on the Moto X and the Droid phones, just say, OK, Google now, and it'll do so. We have to pair it to your voice in order to uh, get it to do that. I'll run into settings and see what we've got here. Uh, new animation when you go into uh, your app tray as well, sort of a subtle uh, approach, I guess. And we'll scroll around here. Uh, settings has a new icon. The rest of the stuff here looks pretty similar. Uh, feels very quick, as you'd expect from a Snapdragon 800 uh, with native Android on here. There's nothing to sort of slow it down at all. We'll go to About Phone. There it is, Android 4.4, which is what the big deal's been about. Little KitKat animation, dance around for you. Then it lets you know you are running Android 4.4. So I'm very excited to test this phone out. 
I'm gonna bring you a real quick comparison uh, with the outgoing uh, Nexus 4, which is on the screen now, so you can see what both of them look like, 4.7, 4.95. Uh, they look like, you know, the Nexus 4 kind of grew up a little bit. Uh, they both have a very similar feel to it, but this, the Nexus 5 feels incredible. Uh, don't have that glass back anymore, which is known to uh, scratch or crack. Um, so you can see this uh, family tree here, four, two, five. Uh, also available from Google uh, that they sent us is a case. We'll open this guy up real fast and see what it looks like and see if you want to pick one up. It looks to be pretty substantial. Um, Google's getting to the accessory business as well. They also have uh, a Qi charger uh, for the Nexus 5, but if you have any you know, wireless charger, it'll work with it. Uh, so this is just pretty standard plastic. Uh, and the phone just goes right into it. And now your black phone becomes kind of a red phone. A little bit chunky, uh, but it does have a lip on top, so when you put it flat on a table, it's not going to scratch your screen. You can still see the Nexus logo uh, there on the back as well. So if you want to, you can pick up a case. Anything you guys want to see about the Nexus 5, please let us know. Leave it in the comments down below. We'd love to show you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate it. Until next time, I am John Rettinger. I'm going to start playing with my new phone. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.